Hey, hi, howdy. I am CamCam66, and welcome back to Outer Wilds. And today, we are going to investigate uh, one of these mystery room ones. Uh, I th think... I think I'm going to do this one. Yeah, I'm going to try this one again. And uh, I figured out something that I... Uh, there is it's 30 minutes so I got 30 minutes before that Sun explodes so hey I hurry so I'm gonna go here first because this is probably the easiest one right away and then when after I'm done with that I think um, what was it I wanted to go to Oh, the high energy lab. So I'm gonna go here next. Uh, hopefully I could get there uh, in time. But I want—I really want to locate this fissure. I'm very curious because it's got an energy reading. So let's do it. Go 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 go. Where are you? Water. Moon. Crazy place. Should be... What's that? Wait a second, did you see that? Something's orbiting the sun. Hold it, how do I stop? I'm getting distracted, but I'm okay with this because that, that's very fascinating. What are you? Are you the one that's destroying everything? Are you the sun thing? <gasps> I'm gonna go here. S screw the meteor. Ah, of course. At least it's a short rewind. <gasps> yes, you burnt up in the sun. Because I'm an idiot. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. But I'm going to that thing. I have to see new stuff. And since that's a guaranteed new thing, if I can do it, I'm very fascinated. How is that thing flying around the planet and not burning up as well? Sun, where are you? Where do you bees? The bees knees. So we shall do match velocity. Okay. So I have an idea. I'll go here. Unlock. Unlock. Why won't you unlock? Oh, pts, wrong button, of course. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Okay. get to you you're clearly doing something to the Sun not Giants deep Okay, so the sun, I will have to do that another time. Yeah. 
Okay, I don't see a fissure, but it is going to the sun. What are you talking about? So that, it, that's the fissure, ain't it? Do I have to wait till this? Ooh. Dang it. Okay. Now. Oh, I can't. It should be thawed now. Because it was right next to the sun. Dang it, I have no ability. Cancel. Yo. Why are you going backwards? This is weird. Where is it? Where is it? Is it you? Oh, it's you. Okay, fully repaired. Are we going through the sun again? Good, no. Okay, fissure. That's the fissure. I don't understand. Whoa. Oh. That is kind of cool. That would be very helpful. Wait, can I see this? I can see this. Can I do this on the ship? That is cool. Not gonna lie. That is pretty cool. Alright. I don't see a fissure. I really don't. I wish I knew where it was. Like, this is the fissure, but there's no entrance. I've, I've searched it all. Unless I missed out because I got damaged. I think I missed out. So, uh, I guess the uh, next one. I'll refill this. Okay, so I can do that. Can I aim at things? can. So I can name it this, right? I have to manually land on that? Okay, let's go to Ember Twin. Hopefully we can get to the thing. Probably should go to the Ember Twin when I'm when I want to go back to that. I don't. Oh, hello. Yeah, yeah. Stop. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I think I'm too late. 
Yeah, it's probably here, and the sand will fill up, and then I'll die. Dang it. So I'll have to come here right away if I want to get inf information from it. But I can... The sand is almost off the other one, and I barely searched this one. Because I fell on the sand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I transported from there. That was it. So I wouldn't mind this one kind of just... Losing all its sand so I could finally uh, do something on it. What is that? I feel like I've seen that before. Hello. Hello. Is this the energy thing? I think so. I think this is the energy plant. Oh no. Jesus. How do I get to it with the ghost matter? Hello. Take me to your leader. Anyways, how do I get in here? I need a brick thing for this. <gasps> yeah, this is where I <gasps> this is where I peered. Oh, so yeah, sometimes it's seems like it's either memories or it's like showing you another location. The sand killed me. Really? <laughs> Alright, I'm back, baby. Okay, it's in the canyon. There's doors. Giant doors. What's in here? Hello? Unidentified signal? What are you? Cave shard. What? Quantum fluctuations? Oh, hello. Friends, if you find any sign of Klaus, I implore you to tell me. He vanished without a trace during my, our research trip and has been missing ever since. Mallor, some of us from the Sun, the city are here to help search for Collis. Can you tell us more about your expedition? You have my gratitude, Burr. Collis and I were studying the cave's geology. We hope to learn more about the unique and wandering rock that visits several different caves in the area. Where, where was young Collis lost Melro Melray? He disappeared in the cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole. It happened in an instant, without warning. I turned away from Klaus to examine a sample, and when I turned back, he simply wasn't there anymore. He had a limited supply of air. No, I'm, f I'm afraid for him. Hypothesis. We will learn more by examining the northern lake bed cave where Klaus has disappeared. Search quickly. Everyone will... We have no time to squander. Ah... Whoa! It transported, like they said. Stairs.
Oh, that's all it did. Let's take me out. What is that? Huh. Fire? Are you dropping sand? Whoa! Shirt? Goodness, goodness, it's you. Hello. I take it your first launch went well then? Welcome to the Hourglass Twins. Mind the sand now. What are you up to? Hornfield's asking me to update our star charts, so I'm out here observing. This is a, one of the best places in the solar system to spot uh, astronomical events, you know. What's weird is I've actually seen a couple of supernovae today. Usually I'd be fortunate to see just one. Keep an eye on uh, or two on the stars. Maybe you'll spot one yourself. Eee. Tell me, what can I do for you? I found something. Please do tell. I found a Minami writing about the quantum moon. Oh yes, everyone loves that good mystery, don't they? Who wouldn't wonder about a moon that sometimes is there, sometimes not? I've observed the quantum moon orbiting each of the five planets, but sometimes it quite simply disappears from the sky altogether. Maybe there's another place it travels to. Unfortunately, if there is, I've never seen it. Perhaps if I take a closer look at these star charts. Wait. Uh, I have a question. How do I know if I spotted a supernovae? Supernovae look like a extra bright star to the naked eye, but if you zoom in with your signal scope, you can tell that they are actually enormous explosions. Massive su stars go supernova at the very end of their lifespan, which is why it's so unusual to see two in a single day. I wonder if some of these stars are older than we realize. Uh, what are you doing out here? Right now I'm documenting stars. Hornfields notice our star charts are out of date, so they asked me to update them. Please don't tell the others I said this, but sometimes I think I'm the only traveler out here interested in doing any science at all. Or maybe don't tell Hornfields either. I, th I think they're pretty deep in denial. <coughs> Where should I explore here? To be honest, I haven't left this lake bed. I don't mean to brag, but I've been, I'm have i really quite good with a little scout, so I've been taking pictures of everything from right here in my campsite. Have you seen the old shipwreck site in the Ember Twin Southern Hemisphere, the shoot, one shooting a beam, bright beam in a light? It's not one of our own crashes. Surprisingly enough, that's this one's a Naomi ship. Namai. I'm going to say Namai from now on. You'll find Namai ruins across the twins, but strangely, not a single sediment. Believe me, if there is one to see, I've seen it with my little scout. You missed it. It's underground. So, where did they live? Not on the surface, clearly. The Ember Twin is full of cave systems, though. Maybe the answer lies underground. Oh, yeah. No, no crap. How dangerous is the big column? Well, on a scale of one to dead, I'd give it a seven or eight. Awfully pretty, though. Right now, sand is floating from ash twin to ember twin, but did you know the process eventually reverses? We're not completely sure why the sand flows back and forth between the twins, but it seems to be a natural phenomenon. Oh, if you like to see something interesting, check out the other twin once a little more sand drains off. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Mm -hmm. Ah, just saying hi. Watch out for the falling sand, okay? I've had to dig myself out once or twice, and that's not half as fun as it sounds. Cool. Interesting. What is this? Unidentified. Roast doze off. I don't want to doze off. Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, three. What in the world? Is this a lake bed? I will die. I <laughs> guarantee. You're gonna like the way you look. Guaranteed. 
I guarantee it. That's what it was. Ooh. Safe landing. Ooh. Oh. So, if it's a natural phenomena that the sand goes between the planets, how did those guys die? There's no way they were like, oh, we don't know what's going on. They clearly did when they were like talking about the sand and such. Interesting. Okay, so I was supposed to go here before the sand started falling to find more stuff, which hindsight is twenty twenty. So um, definitely got to go through those three doors. Uh, I hope this is faster. Yeah, ha ha. Oh god, no, no. Booyah. Okay, what's in here? Cave shark, okay. Oh, yeah, that's just a big pile of death, isn't it? Hello? These are cool, like, permanent torches. They tried building a bridge where the sand falls? What are they, idiots? I clearly... I clearly did that. You gotta believe me. Okay, so what is over here? Is this the canyon? Oh, canyon. Oh, canyon. Where art thou, canyon? Hello? Anybody there? Hello? Ooh. Oh! What does this say? This door will need to remain closed for this some time. Pi and I are running an experiment based on the extraordinary finds from the White Hole Station. This is the place. Remy and I will be running this experiment until one of us, specifically me, can prove the other wrong. So, although it's inconvenient, the lab could... The lab currently can only be accessed by the path from the Sunless City. <laughs> Inviting sand inside would disrupt our setup and could have enormous consequences. We realize this is an intriguing prospect, but the door must remain closed nonetheless. An update. The High Energy Lab is now being used to design the Ash Twin project. If you're here to help or even just observe, be sure to use the lab, some less city path to the lab. So I need to come here before the sand falls so I can have ample time to get in there and experience whatever this is. Looks like the dead people. Hey. Okay, come on. You don't need to be a jerk about it. Interesting, interesting. Oh, yep, yeah, there's a thingy. Okay. One day. What does it say? The sun, the city, 300 meters. The 
focused on the city. Crash site caves. Oh, so that, okay. Oops. Is there a way to just fly in there? I don't really want to right now. Yeah, the sand is way too high. But at least I know now. Ow. They're all healed up. So, this project is here. But what is this on the sun? What are you? And where are you? Pretty though. You can tell, you know, the inevitable. Wait, it's gone. I haven't seen it once. So does it crash into the sun? And that's what hurts it? Hmm. Curious, curious. Yeah, by now I would have seen it. The Dark Bramble. I got eaten before I know. I hear you. I hear you. That's terrifying. I was holding my breath. What is you? What are you? Who are you? What is this? Quantum. Quantum moon. like weird I just don't feel right feelings
Bring it on. Okay, let's put this away. This is giving me the chibi jeebies. Like, my heart is racing right now. Woo! Woo! I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, we're gonna just turn that off. <laughs> oh my. No! Wait, what? What are you? Who are you? How are you? Why is Gamora? Uh, yeah, I am trying to fix it. If this planet would stop being a jerk. Oh, come. Oh, come on. Really? Really? I find something cool and you just ruin it for me. You took it. Where are you? Where are you, buddy? Hi, big guy. Hello. How you doing? Are you fine? How's the weather? A little rainy? I understand. That makes sense. There you are. Man, you took forever. Dude, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I hear the music. I hear the... Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to land in a specific spot. I should probably turn on my camera. This seems like a very interesting thing to observe. Dang it. Cockpit, aft hall, I'm going to destroy this thing. Okay, we can do some repairs quick. Yeah, but it has a crack. <laughs> Why can't I repair it from the inside? I don't understand. Seems like the most logical thing. It happened already. Man. It was fun. Peace out. That was kind of cool, that detail. It dissolved everything. But the Dark Bramble, man, that, that... It's like a horror game for a moment there. At least I got to meet that one guy. I breathe after being disintegrated. All right, we have found a lot of details. And what have we learned? The quantum caves, Lake Bed Cave. Ooh, that's connected. Yep, the Sunless City and his camp is connected to Escape Pod too. See, look at that. I like this. I like it's interconnected. Quantum caves. The Nami noticed a strange wandering rock that appeared in multiple caves at Amber Twins' northern hemisphere. I found a strange rock shard that moves when I am not watching. It emits a signal of quantum fluctuation frequency. There's more to explore. A Nami named Colossus uh, mysteriously vanished from a cave at the bottom of the dark lake, dry lake bed at the Ember Twins' northern pole. Fascinating. Can I map this? Oh. Cool. Hey, yeah, I've been to Quantum Moon. I have not been to Hollow's Lantern, but it's like a volcano shooting thing. Wait, hole. Wait, what's, what's the, what's that? 
That's too much. What's that? It won't let me go to it. Okay. Orbital probe cannon. Uh, that's the sun station. I knew it. That thing is what's causing the sun to age. Ex it accelerate its aging. And when it goes into the sun, oh, well, that's when bad stuff happens. But yeah, look at that. Learning more, and I'm, I'm just super happy. I keep, I'm, I just can't get over this game. How just interesting it is. Yeah, it's a little hard here and there, but you know what? I can handle that. <laughs> I'm having fun, and this, this one, I got my heart racing. So, anyways, I appreciate everyone who watched this. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video.